Slick talker since a jet. One in time, all the time, ooh. Yeah. Look at the way that I move. Swag. Disrespectful and I'm rude. Okay. I had cocaine in the school. Uh, Winner one hell of a kid. I am. Smoking gas, jugging me. I'm lit. What you doing? I done did. I swear. Slick talker since a jet. Finesse. I know that this what they want. Facts. Run up some money, I'm gone. I'm Hmm, I bet they won't have. <gasps> wow, they have it! Canned drip! Hey, what is good with it, tough family? You already know how it is. Welcome back into another video. But before I show you all this tier list on what I think is the best uh, resurrection uh, you should get, I'm gonna need y'all to go down, like this video comment if you haven't already subscribed if you're new because hey we've been we've been doing good on the videos and hey you already know we just came back and we're doing good so let's get so basically i'm going to be putting the resurrections in a uh, tier list because i would do uh clips on my own but um as you can see i only have like legit one so i'd rather do this one first so uh, yeah so as you can see this one is a uh, vercurial so basically this one is a good combo extender in my opinion to be honest it does a lot of great damage you can do combos with it and all that i'm, I'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you actually so you could you're able to do this maybe grab hit them with that and then they be dead so just like that as you can see this is instantly good and i'm my, i might put this uh, this should honestly go in a tier not gonna lie a tier and uh, yeah let's go to the next one I was going to do clips, but you know, Sally that just got moved, so I'm just going to be going on the trailer. So, next one you're going to do is uh, Vertebra. So, basically, this is the bone guy. The first move is bone release. It, it's not that good during combat, to be honest, because when you shoot them up in the air, what, what are you really going to do? Like, what combo are you going to do it from? Maybe you could press your R for beam or whatever for hollow, but. I don't know. It's, it's iffy, you know what I'm saying? Then the bone trail, I would say that's like the only decent thing for the bone one, to be honest, because the rest, the first move is just terrible. It's just terrible. Let me tell you. It's not even that good. Now, the beam, it is a long beam, nice long beam, but then again, that's probably like the only thing that's good with this. So saying that, I'll, this is a C tier. I'm sorry, but Vertebra is legit not it. It's not it. Next one, you already know we got a uh, Espiritu. If I even said that right, the first move is like a little not back. You already know what I'm saying, a little not back. Uh, I mean, it's decent and it gets distance between you and the person if you uh, want to do that. It's a good AOE move. Uh, the slam down basically uh, teleports them actually teleports them far away so I mean hey you could probably do some maybe decent combos with it the, the last one is a beam which you know just like a vertebra and they got a long beam I mean it's iffy but combat wise I think you can do a combo with it just by using this right here and then using a the beam so yeah so that saying I'll say to be honest this one right here since you're able to at least combo from it it's a b tier it's definitely a b tier next up we got a cereal uh basically the first move you spawn in two walls crushing them and i mean that i feel like this is so easy to escape from though because i don't know maybe you can stun them and then use the move on them to be honest like maybe a head kick and then back up a little bit and use it i mean that that could be effective the second move you already know metal wall it just pushes a wall to them and, and yeah that that's literally about it it doesn't do no other effect the second one just spawns in a big wall but at the same time it's easy it's easy to dodge it's easy to dodge honestly but in theory th uh since you're able to combo from it honestly with the z just stun them and you could probably use this with this the wall the last one is eh, but this is a b tier it's a b tier since you're able to combo from it's not that harsh so yeah next one next one we got calabria i don't know if i even said that so the first move it's like a little punch you already know like a real rush you just punch them far back which does a good amount of damage it does low damage but it's okay uh holy spear basically 
you just slam down on them and uh, they get shocked for a few seconds so that's an easy combo to send it right there if you're if you know how to combo you know what i'm saying uh the last move is holy spear which does decent damage it's not that efficient yeah uh i mean i don't know it reminds me of bella to be honest just only one but hey it still does a uh, decent amount of damage so yeah so that in theory i do believe that you're able to um actually combo good from this so i'll put it in a tier it's gonna be a tier guys so that in theory the one that i just uh showed y'all like you know a showcase and a showcasing game i cannot speak this is getting moved to s tier because this is good you can't combo from it so yeah so when we got uh tormenta so the first move is just like a punch up it stuns them i mean i, I don't know it's something I, it, I mean it's definitely something you can combo from it if you try the um second move it's like a slam down kick thunder kick or whatever it does uh some, some decent damage does some decent damage uh third move you know third move it's okay it's okay not gonna lie it stuns them it's basically a counter but honestly for this one um uh, it's legit not the best to be honest for combos and all that i mean it's kind of all right but for combo wise it's not good so i'm sorry this is gonna have to be c it's gonna be have to be a c tier next up we got uh accelerator so first one uh you do a strong kick does beating amount of damage you're able to combo extend it um second one is basically a burst out so if anybody's close to you, you can just use that to back them up third move it's like a beam it stuns them for a short period of time while you're using a beam so i mean it can be a nice finisher for a combo extender you know what i'm saying so yeah but since you know since the last move is a burst but they all do like decent damage i would put this in s tier it's like between a and s tier to be honest it just depends on how you really use this it's mid to be honest for me but it might be a good like thing for y'all to combo instead i don't know i don't see people using that a lot next up we got uh venino <laughs> venino i'm pretty sure so uh the first uh move is basically like a bomb uh poison punch just you know you punch them and a whole bunch of poison just starts going through them does good amount of damage uh the the last one is basically you slam down release a lot of poison and they get stunned so i mean that is pretty cool because if they're like running or somewhere teleporting you know exactly when they're gonna get stunned you can't combo the stand off that it's mid to be honest for me but i mean eh. The last one is just like a wave of uh, poison that travels long distance. It gets bigger over time, which does a lot. It's good. I tested it like on my, I, I made somebody test it for me. Well, I made them use the moves for like on me. And it actually does a, a decent amount of damage. To, like speaking of which, because I have armor. So yeah. So that one gets an A tier. That one gets an A tier. You already know what I'm saying? I don't even think anybody did a tier list for this guy, not gonna lie. I don't even see much people with it. Invertido, Invertido, or whatever you wanna call him. Um, so basically, first move, you supposed to press something for this, by the way, but first move, Z, it's a like push, zap away. Um, second move is just like a pull. Or whatever so i mean i guess that's cool last move you just place it down this one is so made like, i don't it's just so terrible to me that i do not think this is a fishing in the battles maybe against npcs and like boss raids but anything else this is literally trash <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't believe that you can honestly combo a stun from this. So, this is going to have to be a C. I'm sorry. Because I see no, like, thing for you. I see no good excuse for this being a, like, decent resurrection.
to be honest the push and pull is just so terrible because when it pulls it doesn't like put them in like the orb or anything for you can't be able to like, maybe combo from it no it just pushes them away yeah it's, not, it's honestly not that good last one we got love Mercury or whatever you want to call it so soul link that is really good you just uh you can't hit anybody while you're linked so yeah i mean that's a good like type of thing it's basically almost like chains uh link removal basically just release like some whatever and i mean it does medium amount of damage it stuns them a little bit and yeah it only stuns them if like they're linked to you not linked this yeah really slash it's decent and it links anybody who gets hit so i mean that's fine so i'm not going this is you're able the only reason why is probably i'm gonna give it an a this could be s <clears throat> but <clears throat> like some of the moves this is just not it's just not it i mean i mean some is okay but just because of the link is like the only thing that's saving it you can't combo from it and stun them i was i really say uh this is an a tier not gonna lie you're able to combo from it when somebody dash you're gonna know exactly where they go to so i mean this is really handy so hey so yeah but that will wrap it for this video hopefully uh this helps you and yeah peace out i'll see y'all in the next one make sure you thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already